Hotel Portofino airs Sundays at 7 p.m. and is available to stream at the same time. A very English hotel on the Italian Riviera has opened after some three years of work, and is finally ready to welcome Jazz Age English-speaking guests such as the haughty Julia Drummond Ward and her daughter Rose. The hotel is run by Bella Ainsworth with the help of her daughter Alice Mays Smith. Bella's husband Cecil is nominally involved, but is often off on some scheme, as he is when his and Bella's son Lucian meets Rose, a possible match that is the purpose of the Drummond Ward's trip to Italy. Lucian and Rose have already missed their chance at a meet-cute, when he arrived to pick the drum and wards up from the train station, Julia immediately treated him as a common laborer and he obliged. It was only at the hotel that Julia and Rose realized their mistake. The Drummond Wards join such other guests as the funereal Lady Latchmere and her niece Melissa Devere, the Oxford-educated Italian Count Albani and his son Roberto, and Lucian's close friend Anish Sengupta. They all dine on the cook Betty's food, which is delicious despite her unfamiliarity with Italian ingredients, and have their luggage carried by Betty's son Billy. Betty and Billy are joined on the staff late that evening by Constance March. Constance has suffered some great tragedy, and Betty, who knew Constance's mother, secured her a job as the nanny for Alice's daughter Lottie. Constance is grateful for the work and doesn't wish to impose, so she walked from the train station. Hence her late arrival. She's not the only one out in the dark. Cecil returns from Genoa in the wee hours and pockets some of the cash Bella has earned from the hotel before drunkenly approaching Bella in her room. She's in the process of reading an earnest letter that sounds like it's from a lover, and sends Cecil off to bed in a separate room. Later, Bella's night is again interrupted, this time by cries of pain.